When you see this car, it's not just any ordinary rundown automobile. It was actually one of the first presidential motor vehicles for the great leader, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda. In the preparation for the 1964 independence celebration of the new Republic of Zambia, the first president, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, received this 1964 Chrysler Imperial convertible from the American motor vehicle company Chrysler International. The car was shipped from America to South Africa and transported to Ndola, Zambia, then sent to Lusaka. Colored in a moss gold paint, the car was 6.3 meters long with a 7-liter engine, 7,000 cubic capacity, power steering and automatic transmission, and this Chrysler Imperial Crown Coupe became the second official motor vehicle that was used by the first Republican president, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, said to be a sign of authority, wealth and supremacy. And this car would stand out in the crowd as Dr. Kenneth Kaunda was seen waving his handkerchief to the people of Zambia as he traveled around the country. But it's very sad to see such historic relics in this poor condition, parked here at the Lusaka Museum. And it's even sadder because by the time we would want to establish a museum for presidential motor vehicles or iconic cars of the country, some of these cars would have been destroyed, ruined, forgotten, and near impossible to restore. And I must mention, the car is parked next to the 1955 Standard Vanguard, which was used by one of our founding fathers, the great leader, Mr. Harry Mwangankumbula, who was the president of the Northern Rhodesia Africa National Congress, the ANC, and used this car during the campaigning for the independence of the country of Zambia. And during those times of the liberation struggle, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda used a motorcycle in moving around to different parts of the territory and the far places in rallying the people against colonialism. It is said that one day on his way, he met a reverend by the name of Marvin Temple, who would go on to donate this Land Rover to Kenneth Kaunda to be used in the liberation movement during the fight for Zambia's independence because he was moved by Kaunda's story of determination. It was extensively used for the campaigns by Kenneth Kaunda and UNIP party members, moving around in mobilizing the people of Zambia during the struggle for independence. And the pictures of Dr. Kenneth Kaunda with his wife Betty and their son Kaweche. At the start of the election tour of 1962 with the Land Rover in the background. And after Zambia's independence, the Land Rover became one of the most famous vehicles in the country. But in the June of 1990, the Land Rover was set ablaze during the Lusaka food riots. It was beautifully restored by Nkwaka Motors, a commercial garage based in Lusaka, and the Land Rover is still stationed at Dr. Kenneth Kaunda's former house in Chilenje, which is a national monument since 1968. And Dr. Kenneth Kaunda's motorcycle is housed in the Livingstone Museum. I believe these cars have their own stories to tell, so if we preserve these cars, we preserve a part of history. This has been finding the historic cars as I travel the world. now making the historic occasion complete. As the colorful and happy crowds cheered his arrival, the president alighted to meet the heads of the service. So this was the car that Kenneth Kaunda used during the fight for independence, during their rallies and moving around the country. 